I am happy to announce, folks, that tonight is White Bear Hockey Night. How many folks are here to see the hockey program? Let's make some noise out there. Let's let them know we are excited. Hockey Day Minnesota is coming to the White Bear area in 2023, and it may be summer, but tonight, we are celebrating all things hockey. Now, the specific sponsor for this stage is Kowalski's Market. So let's give a big round of applause for Kowalski's for sponsoring the gazebo stage. Now, I am going to introduce our special guests, and after that, we will have Salsa del Sol will take the stage, and they will be performing tonight. There won't be an intermission here on this stage. They will be performing through the rest of the evening. But for now, I'm really excited to welcome to the stage uh, representatives from the Minnesota Wild, uh, Anthony LaPanta. Anthony, come on up here and take over, will you, my friend? Here you are. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here tonight. I've spent a lot of summer nights out here at Market Fest. I live in Shoreview nearby, so we come out here quite often. And it's an exciting night for us, the Minnesota Wild and Valley Sports North, as we start to get ready. I know it's mid-July, but we're thinking about Hockey Day Minnesota right now, which will be hosted by White Bear Lake this winter. We're really excited about it. We have some great matchups. We'll talk more about those a bit later. But first, we have some special guests here tonight that I want to introduce. From the Minnesota Wild, we have the new Minnesota Wild team dog for this year. Brooksy's here tonight. Brooksy's a big part of the organization, but we also have another part of the organization here. We have the president of the Minnesota Wild. I'd like to welcome to the stage, Mr. Matt Maka. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. This is amazing. I have to say I've not had the pleasure to be on a Thursday night uh, get-together here in White Bear before. This is really cool. And we are so thrilled to partner with White Bear. Uh, Corey Roberts, the leader of the local organizing committee, the entire local organizing committee, our good friends at Valley Sports North, and, uh, and lots of other folks who, the sponsors, all of the sponsors who've stepped up here locally and, and otherwise. We are just thrilled, and, and this is living proof of uh, the strength of the state of hockey and the White Bear Lake uh, Hockey Association. And give yourselves a hand for what you all do for the sport of hockey here. So I think, I think this is our 16th year. I've lost track. Is it our 16th year? Six, 16th year or something like that. It, it, this thing has gone way beyond our wildest dreams and expectations, and I know that you guys are going to take it to a whole other level. So thank you. We look forward to it, and uh, happy Hockey Day a little early. For those of us who have been a part of Hockey Day from the beginning, it's amazing every year when we get done with the week and we look back and we say, this community one-upped everything we've seen before and it's just grown a little bit each and every season. And each year that we do that, it's due in large part to the reliance on the local organizing committees and each committee, each community has provided this kind of support. They've all done a tremendous job and we've seen hockey in literally all corners of the state of hockey. We're really excited to bring it to White Bear Lake and I can tell you that the committee that's in charge of things around here is already way ahead of the game. I don't have any doubt in my mind that we are going to have a first class event here come next January. I'd like to welcome to the stage from the local organizing committee for Hockey Day 2023, John Anderson. On behalf of our uh, LOC, we'd like to welcome everybody out to tonight's event. Um, we're really excited to host Hockey Day here in White Bear. Uh, we'd also like to thank the Wild, Valleys, and our partners, and any future partners that are out there. We're looking for you, so come on in and visit us. Uh, and mostly, best of luck to the participants moving forward here. So thank you very much for coming out and supporting Hockey Day in White Bear. We are all really excited to have Hockey Day Minnesota be here in White Bear Lake, but we are even more excited about the matchups. And each year, we strive to come up with some matchups that showcase hockey in this community, some of the rivalries that are present here, and then 
bring some visitors from somewhere else in the state of Minnesota. We've been proud to incorporate girls high school and college women's hockey over the years as we showcase the growth there. That will continue this year as well. So we'd like to announce now the matchups for Hockey Day in Minnesota 2023. It'll be played at Polar Lakes Park in White Bear Township Saturday, January 28th, 2023. Four exciting matchups on Hockey Day. Starting the day at 9.30 a.m., it'll be girls high school hockey with White Bear Lake playing host to Stillwater in what should be a tremendous matchup. <laughs> then at one o'clock, we shift to boys high school hockey. We have two great matchups. The first one, we bring a team from outstate Minnesota that's had about as much success in Class A hockey as anybody. The Hermantown Hawks will be here and they will be facing off against the Monomedi Zephyrs at 1 o'clock. And then the third high school game, the second boys game, will take place at 4.30. And I got to tell you, I started my broadcasting career 30 years ago, just out of college, and I actually volunteered at KABL Television in White Bear Lake, at local, local cable channels. And, the highlight of my season every year was when these two teams got together. And then when we started high school hockey night on then Fox Sports North, North, which is now Valley Sports North, this would have been 2004, we started with this same matchup because we said, if you're going to showcase high school hockey in Minnesota, these are the two teams you got to get on the ice. I believe they've met 95 times. This will be a big one. It's Hill Murray and White Bear Lake at 4.30 in the afternoon. And then the night is always capped with the Minnesota Wild. They have almost always been at home, and it's always a great way to end the night with a game at the XL Energy Center in downtown St. Paul. And this year we'll be hosting a team that's got more than just a little Minnesota feel to it. The Buffalo Sabres will face the Minnesota Wild at 8 o'clock to cap the night. So we'd like to introduce you to a couple of representatives from each of the participating high school teams today. And we first welcome to the stage the White Bear Lake girls who will be hosting the girls game. This is how the day starts at 9.30. Mark Domshot, the assistant coach, Maya Marston, Annika Norman, Celia Spence, and Zoe Timmons. Annika, what does it mean to the Bears to be a part of Hockey Day Minnesota? Um, it's a really unique opportunity for us to be able to represent our community and our family that we've built over the 10 years, actually. We've been playing together since we were five, so it's just super special for us to be able to be part of something so big, and we want to thank the Minnesota Wild for the opportunity to do that. Is outdoor hockey a big part of your regular winter? Um, it's pond hockey, you know. I got a pond in my backyard. We're always out there skating, so it'll be super fun to be able to do that on a real rink, too, so. It's always a pretty good rivalry between White Bear and Stillwater. Is that the same in girls hockey this year? Of course, it's always a big rivalry. I mean, we take every opponent seriously, and we're super excited to play the ponies and show them what we got. So, yeah, we're super excited. All right, well, good luck. Congratulations. Looking forward to seeing the Bears. And now let's welcome their opponent to the stage, the Stillwater Girls. We have their head coach, Mira Yeloso and Avery Brownhausen. All right, Avery, what do you think about visiting the Bears on Hockey Day? All right, well, we're all excited. I know I speak for all the ponies, and I say, um, you know, excited to be a part of Hockey Day Minnesota. The last time a lot of us played would have been U10, U12s when it was back at Stillwater. So we're ready to get back out there and, you know, show what we can do this season. You play much outdoor hockey in Stillwater? Oh yeah, we, we've got a very competitive group of girls, so any chance we got, we're out there, you know, just messing around on the ice. All right, Avery, congrats, good luck. Looking forward to seeing you. The Bears and the Ponies, they'll get it started at 9.30 on Hockey Day Minnesota. Now let's welcome a couple of the boys teams to the stage. First, we'll get the visiting team up here from Hermantown. Their head coach is Patrick Andrews. We have Wyatt Carlson, Ty Hansen, Matt Koppinen, Cade Kaharski, George Peterson, and Zam Plant. Which one's Zam? All right. Yep. 
We heard you were the talker in the bunch. So uh, what, what does it mean to you to be a part of Hockey Day Minnesota? Um, it's pretty cool. Um, when we were just little guys, uh, Hermantown got to host, I think it was 2010. So uh, as seniors, being able to play in it will be pretty cool. Were you out there to see it on Hockey Day? I think it was 2015, is that right? Or no, earlier than that, 2010 uh, maybe? 2010, yeah. My grandpa was coaching at the time, so uh, I, was, I was definitely running around the rink. It was pretty cool. Yeah, we had a, an adventure that year. Actually, it rained the whole night the night before, and we were scrambling a little bit to get it done. One of our great Hockey Day memories. What do you know about the Monomedi Zephyrs? Uh, we've had pretty good history with them in the last couple of years. Uh, they got us in the state, state championship, so uh, definitely uh, I could say rivals right now. All right, thanks very much. The Hermantown Hawks, and now let's welcome the Monomedi Zephyrs. Their head coach is Jeff Poschel, David Walsfeld, Charlie Drag and Cav Bruner are here. David, what do you think about facing off against the Hawks on Hockey Day? Yeah, they're a really good team. I mean, if they didn't have that whole COVID thing two years ago, they'd probably be three state finals in a row. So, I mean, they're a really good team. We're looking forward to it. This is kind of in your backyard here at White Bear Lake, right? I mean, do you guys play some outdoor hockey around here? Oh, yeah, up at the uh, rec center. We're up there a couple days a week in the winter. When you get a chance to, to be a part of this and go up against a team that's probably had as much success in Class A hockey as anybody, how excited are you about that challenge? Yeah, we're pumped. I mean, we were down in Hockey Day at Stillwater in 2017, and we were kids, and we were watching them. And ever since then, it's been a dream. So we're really excited to get going here. All right, well, thanks very much. Good luck. The Monomedi Zephyrs. And now let's meet the guys who will play in the third high school game. We'll start. Not very often they let guys dressed in green and black show up here in downtown White Bear Lake, but for today we'll make an exception. The head coaches Bill Lechner, Caden Samper, Brady Ingebrigtsen, Matthew Whistler, and Jack Erickson are here. Caden, what do you? Brady, sorry, what do you think about Hockey Day Minnesota? It's it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to get out there and just be able to represent Hill Murray is going to be awesome. Hill Murray, White Bear Lake. Does it get any better than that? Nothing beats it. You guys have faced off against them in so many important games over the years. I'm sure you watched some of them before you took part as a player. Where will this one compare to, say, some of the section final games or other just head-to-head -head meetings between these clubs? I think this game's going to be pretty special. Uh, we've beat these guys past two years in sections, and it's going to be a good competition. Pioneers is good this year as always? Oh, yeah. We'll be ready. All right, the Pioneers, they'll be the visiting team, and let's bring up the host team. They're coached by Tim Sager, Grady Gallatin, Aiden Welch, Joe Belisle, Brady Borgstead are here. Grady Gallatin, what does it mean to host Hockey Day Minnesota? You know, it's huge. Uh, whole city's getting up for it. We're really excited and uh, ready to beat Hill Murray. It's a chance for the community to be showcased, and White Bear Hockey is one of the proud hockey communities in the state of Minnesota. What does it mean to you to be able to show, hey, this is what White Bear Lake hockey is all about? Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. Uh, you know, we have a really, really rich tradition here, and uh, we're re ready to, you know, showcase it in front of the entire state. So, What makes the rivalry with Hill Murray so special? Uh, it dates back to as long as my dad's been playing. Even farther than that, uh, lots of conflicts, uh, some good games, and yeah, just really good matchup always. You guys take part in a lot of outdoor hockey during the course of the season? Oh yeah, we always get out on ponds, we're always out on the outdoor rinks, ripping around, so yeah. Well this one will be special, congrats, we're looking forward to White Bear Lake hosting this season. Yeah, thank you. Those will be the participants in this year's event. We're expecting this to be right up there with the best we've had. Hockey Day Minnesota 2023. Hope some of you guys can get out there and join us and take part in the day. It's always a special day. And with these matchups, you can't go wrong. Capping with Hill Murray and White Bear Lake. Thanks for coming out tonight. We appreciate it, appreciate the support, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys on Hockey Day Minnesota in January.